across the circuit. Here we go, lots of FPV today. So here's Brent's plane, his AX, and he's made his own backpack up using a standard 200 milliwatt transmitter, but it really sucks compared to mine. <laughs> of course, I, I'm completely unbiased in this. We're going to start our own FPV gang here, and Brent started by wearing his cap backwards. So he's really, then he's going to get the hand gestures sorted. And, oh, oh, I missed that one good. <laughs> And he's gone to the circularly polarised antennas, which he says are much better than the old ones. And here's a little segment for Ali Shanmao. If you haven't been to Ali's channel, go and look at his channel. Good stuff on there. Always entertaining is Ali Shanmao. But Ali's got a DIY FPV system you can fit on your models and he sells them and, and uh, they seem to work pretty good. But um, I'll show you Ali. This one's for you, mate. Now, this is how we convert a model to FPV with the XJet RC model reviews. DIY FPV system. This whole video section here is going to show you what's involved in installing this on your model. So sit down, grab yourself a coffee, put your feet up and watch. Here we go. Done. <laughs> oh, there's wiring. Notice if you pull the front of your model here, wiring, just plug that into the balance port of your battery and you're done. That's it. And when you want to put on something else, look Ali, take that off, stick it on your quad. So get on your Lotus. That's it. Easy peasy. Couldn't be easier. So Ali sells DIY FPV and if you want to do it yourself, like really do it yourself, you can go to my RC Model Reviews channel because this week coming up there'll be all the details, all the instructions on how to build this thing. Stick it on your own model. And see this, the Cloverleaf antennas? I've just converted Brent's FPV to Cloverleaf. You can see up here on top of his pole he's got the Cloverleaf and I've got one up there on mine and he's got one on his plane over here. See, hanging out the side, he's using the standard FPV system. But I made him up a cloverleaf antenna for that. And uh, I'll just, we'll go and see Brent and see what he says about the difference between the standard little black whips you get with these things and these clover leaves that everyone's now using on FPV. Because Ali, you should change. Change and use these cloverleaf antennas here, like a cloverleaf in the grass. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> No wasting the flare, just enough, eh? <laughs> now, Brent. Hello. A moment with you, man. Now, today we converted your 5.8 gig FPV gear from standard black whips to cloverleaf antennas. And what do you reckon? Huge difference. Is it better or worse? Oh, much better. When I was turning before, say, at the end of the runway there, I was losing signal. Now it's just mint all the time. The only bit of interference you get is directly over the antenna. So, yeah, really yeah, so it makes it much easier then? Oh yeah, a lot better. You don't have to worry about losing signal no, when you... No, no signal loss at all. Very, very good. And, and they're even lighter, aren't they? Oh, even look better out. Yeah, especially because <laughs> I make them. <laughs> but people can make their own, eh? Well, this is, well, well I've had to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a ball of spaghetti, mate. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's how, that's how it started. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. So if you're flying FPV and you're not using cloverleaf antennas, you've got to start, you've got to build them. I mean, I didn't invent them though. There's websites on the internet. I'll put a link on the bottom of this video where you can go to get the details to build these crazy looking antennas that work just so much better than the standard ones. Bit of wind up now, mate. Bit of wind up, alright. Should be good. This will be his first FPV landing in a storm. I should really stop leaning into the corner, shouldn't I? It's hard to do though. You do tend to lean to one side when you're turning. It's quite freaky. How low is that to the ground? Oh, not very. You can tell when you're low enough because it stops moving and bits of foam fly up in front of the camera. Yeah, and you see some white stuff in the camera. It goes forth from the ground normally. Ooh. It's a bit bumpy. See this gear that's got good range? All the range you need for some FPV flying. So far away I can't see it anymore. Oops, I nearly fell in the drain. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Do 
Safety landing, mister. Yeah. And a crosswind FPV landing. That's how easy it is with FPV. Oh, really? Joy fly like that, eh? It's cool. Yeah. Sweet ass, bro. And see, it didn't even land that far away. This is Brent's fireworks bag, isn't it? Yeah. Is it fireproof, mate? Of course it is. You zip it up. You zip, oh, that keeps the fire in. Keep the fire in. Yep. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. And yeah, it's loaded with I stuff. I store them in the hot water cylinder. You do? Yeah, yeah keep them with with, nice and dry. with a can of gasoline on them That's to stop them blowing away in the wind. That's and what you do. charge for the week, so they've got a good charge when I get here. Yeah, I always like to overcharge them because some they do drain down a bit during the week. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, you don't want to charge them on four cells when they're three cells. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to go wasting, are they? No, nah. no, nah, seems silly. Here we go. 